choose WeChat and uh, why did we start working on the mini program? These kind of numbers are staggering to, to Malaysia, but these are the reality in China. In China, WeChat is the number one social platform that is used. It is beyond just messaging, it is beyond just social media, it is part of the everyday life of uh, the Chinese digital users. So there are 1.1 billion WeChat active users monthly and 700 million of them users mini programs. Like uh, Mr. Ma said just now, there are 1 million uh, mini programs around and all of it surrounds their life from shopping, from booking f &B, travel, insurance, everything that touches their life is on the mini program. On top of that, 350 million active users on these mini programs uh, every day. And out of that, 800 million users the pay. The pay is the last function. So instead of creating more apps around travel uh, and asking the Chinese tourists to download these apps, why not just use WeChat? And WeChat has created an open platform for services to connect to and use uh, the, the ecosystem that is already ready and heavily used by the Chinese. We estimate uh, from Tourism Malaysia, they gave us this number, 3 million visitors from, uh, from China in 2020. So the bigger part of these 4 million travellers, most of uh, the China travellers now are the young and the connected. 40% of them are FIT travellers, free and independent travellers. These are the people that books online, they, book, they do their research on apps and they see where do they want to travel to. They don't want to follow groups and they want to go free and easy on their own. So what we are creating now is that uh, all the apps sit in the WeChat app called Mini Programs where they are served in their native way of uh, experience on the WeChat platform. So they don't have to download multiple apps which is, are in English and they don't understand. So they can just use the WeChat Go Malaysia Mini Program to get to whatever services that they want in terms of their journey and their travel. Because what we want to try to do, we work with WeChat very closely to enable uh, artificial intelligence into driving the services that is presented to them. So in all in all, this app for um, WeChat Go Malaysia Mini Program is curated travel and lifestyle content. We get a lot of insights from WeChat uh, through their experience with their users on what kind of uh, searches do they do for travel, what kind of sites do they go to in the mini program, and we create content that is related to this kind of experiences that they want and the ecosystems that they want. The most important thing, this is an app in app. You do not need to download another app to be able to access all these services that you want to. So it's very native to them. They just come to Malaysia and do the same thing that they do in China. The other habit that is very common for Chinese tourists is scan or be scanned. So in the WeChat world, everything is scanned or be scanned. So to them, we want to create this ecosystem that they can also do the same actions without learning how to pay, without learning how to download another wallet and so on. On top of that, it's very interesting that this app is actually location-based. So if you are a mini program user, a WeChat Go mini program user in KL, you will see different retailers and different experiences presented to you. And if you move to Ipoh, you will get another set of mini programs presented to you. So that is quite amazing that it uh, identifies the location of the user. So this is what Telcos are very good at. That's why we make very good partnership with your mobile and WeChat. So on top of that, of course, artificial intelligence to learn your habits and to give you the next best recommendation for your travels. On top of that, what we have uh, discovered together with WeChat are these verticals that are important to the Chinese travelers. So for the launch of WeChat Go Malaysia, we have prepared partners in each of these verticals. Chief among them is, of course, Pavilion Kuala Lumpur. And Pavilion Kuala Lumpur basically covers most of these uh, verticals. Hence, we thought it's a good idea to also prepare another mini program dedicated to only Pavilion Kuala Lumpur because a lot of the Chinese tourists really, um, Dr. Jobs are saying 85% of them comes to Pavilion Kuala Lumpur. So we do create a separate mini program with Pavilion Kuala Lumpur where you can do everything in Pavilion Kuala Lumpur, F&B, retail, fashion, browse everything in the shop order and pay. 
So uh, a big part of the things that is sold in per number one thing that is sold in Mercato is actually white coffee. So they come and buy in boxes. So instead of coming and going to the aisle, what they can do is they pre-order and pre-pay and they just come and collect. So what we are trying to do is create that convenience and ease of use for all uh, visitors from China. So today we have uh, uh, prepared some cities and we are ready with eight cities or states uh, with curated content on what you can visit, what you can do, what you can shop, what you can buy uh, within these eight cities or states. So it covers Kuala Lumpur, Selangor, Penang, Tregano, Langkawi, Ipoh, Sabah and Malacca. So moving forward, we are also doing more uh, Johor, Pahang, Sarawak and Kelantan and Perlis all are upcoming. So we hope to complete it before Visit Malaysia 2020 that you have the nationwide. Uh, of course, all these content are improved all the time, curated and with more user-generated uh, inputs as well in the future. Okay. So with the WeChat Go Malaysia mini program and the Pavilion mini program, we are very, very excited that this is a game changer. This is a service that will really change the landscape for China visitors coming to Malaysia. Uh, we hope uh, this will be the first step and we are attracting many, many more retailers and also partners to come on board and to make it easy for visitors from China to come and visit us. Okay? So I've said a lot and I hope the next video will show you a much more concise version of how this experience is. presentation just now. Are you ready? Is everyone ready? That's better. All right. On my count from three, two, one.
Yang Ken, so I'm running my own YouTube channel. So I, from my understanding that this WeChat Go is actually promoting a lot for the Chinese tourists. What about the local, local Malaysians? What is there you are going to offer for the Malaysians? Okay, as a start, uh, we are looking at, because it's a natural uh, uh, usage pattern for them, they are very used to salesmanship in, in China already, the mini program. For Malaysians, uh, I think we haven't even introduced a uh, mini program as a, a habit to Malaysians. But definitely, uh, the next step we will be looking at Malaysians also, because uh, there are around 20 million active WeChat users in Malaysia. So uh, naturally, the adoption will be quite easy. Uh, but we start with China tourists first, but because as uh, we move along, the, the, the businesses, the merchants, they know how to make use of mini program to drive their business. They will also use the mini program to drive it for local users. Uh, again, they don't have to create another app, they all sit on the, the WeChat app. The other thing that we want to do for Malaysia is also create a, a, a new digital economy for more developers in Malaysia. So if uh, the friends on the media you can, please to help us promote this, that this is a big opportunity to digitize uh, uh, a lot of the developers that new things for them to start developing instead of just a standalone app. So WeChat is also a good platform for them to uh, develop their skill and uh, expand this uh, knowledge economy for Malaysia. Thank you, Jasmine. Eddie, you'd like to add to that? Uh, yeah, just to add on to Jasmine's comments, right? I think why we started with Malaysia is because uh, WeChat is very native to the Chinese, Chinese tourists or Chinese visitors. But in Malaysia, WeChat, although we are the, uh, you know, the number one uh, WeChat users outside of China, but then still, you know, a lot of people still not very familiar with the program. It's new, but it has like, you know, boom very quickly for us since 2017, if I'm not mistaken, in China. So it helps businesses, you know, to flourish, you know, with the location base, you know, functions and all that. So that is why uh, it's so powerful. So with this step, right, I think we're introducing what, uh, you know, are the powers of a mini program that can bring to the local merchants and businesses. So I think we're here to help them enable, you know, uh, you know, the uh, PGI's their uh, businesses and all that, and running on this platform to actually to reach out to more customers in a more targeted way. Uh, do you have any terms and conditions for merchants that want to join the WeChat Go program? Do you like, uh, there's like a minimal standard that they have to meet in order to join WeChat Go Malaysia? Um, okay, for any payment kind of services, I think we have to go through the usual like merchant, you know, uh, check-in assessment, like CPOS check and all those, uh, the rest of those checks that we have to do before we onboard them. Yeah, just to make sure that you know they are valid, they are, you know, they are legitimate and all that. Yeah, so those are the standard process. All right, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that concludes our Q. Oh, Jasmine, you want to continue to go ahead. Sorry for cutting you off. Uh, sorry, I just want to. Yeah, so just to add on, right, uh, WeChat Go Malaysia and the Public KL mini program is one of those mini programs. But what we could do is actually more than that. There are a lot more mini programs that we could do. For example, in overseas in Dubai, what WeChat has done is actually create a mini program for certain attractions where there are audio guides and all that. So, you know, typically people have to like rent the audio guide with the headphones, you know, have used by many people. But with this mini program, right, you actually don't have to do that. You can just scan the QR code, even search for it and use your own uh, wireless earphones and all that. So there are a lot of possibilities that can be done with like, you know, uh, through this mini program. So, uh, U-Mobile, we explore all these kind of innovation, like, you know, for example, with Mercado itself, we are addressing a problem statement for the tourists by, you know, uh, taking away the hassle of queuing up for payment and all that, and they can have more time to shop around in Pavilion itself. Yeah, so uh, if you are uh, if, if you the merchants would like to know more about this, you can actually head to our website. Uh, it's uh, www.begoma.biz. Then, you know, uh, you could just, you know, ping us or drop us an email, and, you know, we could explore all sorts of, like, opportunities.